Hello dear Touch Designer developers, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to apply a set of textures to our instancing network in any pattern that we love using Texture 3D Top Operator. Let's start with creating a basic setup. Let's start with adding a grid. We need to control our grid rows and columns, so can use a constant chop to create some control. Rename the first parameter to rows and add second parameter and name it calls. For the start, set the value 20 for both of them. Add a null, right click on the null and find view in the menu. Now you have the values in your hand. Drag and drop rows and calls values to grid sops rows and calls. The final shape that we need for instancing is ready, let's convert its position data to top. We can't do it directly, so first let's turn it to chop. Find sop to chop from the chop menu, add a null. Then add chop to top, position data has three elements. So we choose RGB from data format menu to capture three axis position data. Also change image layout and pixel format. Now, our position data is ready, let's create our instancing base. Add a rectangle SOP and a transform SOP. In transform SOP, head to uniform scale parameter. Drag and drop the rows value from the values that we set initially. Inverse it by adding one and slash. Turn on instancing on Geocomp. Drag and drop the position data on translate op. Choose R, G and B from lists, and the grid is ready. Now we need a material, so choose constant material. Let's make a simple black and white pattern using noise top. We want to apply our desired textures to our instancing network based on this monochrome pattern. I recommend using Function Store's toolkit that you can find on his GitHub. This toolkit makes your touch designer life easier. To animate the noise, I'm using a simple command from the toolkit to get the ABS time. The index pattern is OK. Let's make some simple textures to use for instancing. Let's add some simple shapes like rectangle and circle from top operator's menu. Make the circle smaller. Duplicate the rectangle top, decrease the height to make a horizontal rectangle. Duplicate it again and make a vertical rectangle. Let's add a constant top to make a solid color too. Our textures are basically ready, let's make some changes in their look. First, let's change their background color. Now, let's give each one of them a specific color.
at a constant top after each of our textures. We want textures, spay, and background math and overall color. Not sure if it is a correct sentence in English. Let's add a switch top and connect our textures to it. Add a null, now let's add a texture 3D top. Change the type to 2D texture array and turn it off. In cache size we need two right number of textures. You can find it easily by an expression that let you know how many inputs does the switch operator has. Now hit the reset pulse. Under the active toggle, there are two parameters that matter to us. Each time we hit replace pulse, it looks at the replace index and find the place that it should save the texture. Here we have five samples, so each time buffer hitting the pulse, we need to add one to our replace index. We can automate the process by using a timer chop and math chop. Copy the expression that we used in cache size and use it for multiply parameter. Set the integer type to round. From timer's output menu, only keep timer fraction. Add a null. Add a logic CHOP on a separate branch. Set it two off when outside bounds. Add a trigger and add a null. We need trigger to create pulse, so turn down all values except peak level. Rename null 6 to count and null 7 to trigger. Make trigger viewers active, go to texture 3D and drag and drop the trigger value on replace pulse and drag count value and drop it on replace index. Go to switch and drop the count value on the index. In timer, hit initialize, then hit start button. We need to fix the cache size expression. Let's drag and drop the initialize parameter on the texture 3D's reset pulse. Hit initialize and start button again. Automation is working. Let's make the texture index pattern ready. Go to amplitude and write the switch length expression again and subtract one. At a limit top dot dot in quantize menu, set quantize value to round. 
For value step parameter, write 1 divided by the switch top's number of inputs. Now, let's play with the noise while we are looking at the limit top. As we change the noise, layers visibility and limit top changes. We instance our textures on these quantized layers. Let's rename the null 5 to textures and drag and drop textures on constant material to use it as color map. Let's head to GeoComp on the second instancing page, drop the pattern index null on the texture curd op. At a fit top after limit, write this expression to match the texture resolution with our position data in Chopto operator. Now, go to GeoComp again and choose R for W parameter and texture coordination part. And things are happening. Let's create a render network to see the result better. Set the camera projection to orthographic. Okay, now we can see it and something is definitely wrong. Let's find the problem. We forgot to set the noise pixel format to 30 to bit RGBA. And everything is working well now. It's not eye catching yet. Let's add a background to our render setup. I forgot to set the rows and calls value the same number and it drove me crazy. Let's make a better look by moving the camera a bit. And change the background color to a bit brighter color. Now, let's turn up the rows and calls to 100 to see things more detailed. It is time to apply some final touches on noise. Turn down the exponent to a value less than 1. Well, out setup is ready, feel free to play around. I also recommend watching Electronauts Time Grid Toroil to see other application of Texture 3D. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye till next tutorial.